In this video, we're going to go over how to set up a simple XML request message over GMS. I have my messaging client here. The request has already been set up. I'm sending a request for a loan and information such as customer ID, available funds, loan amount have already been filled in. What I need to change essentially is under transport. Instead of using HTTP, I'm using GMS. I've added my provider URL, initial contacts, and connection factory. And under queue topic, I've added the two queues where I'm sending the request and where I'm getting the response back from. The only thing you need to add before sending the request is the jar file that's associated to your GMS service. You're going to add that under preferences and system properties. I've added it here. I'm going to run the test. You can see two of two tests succeeded. If I show you the traffic, this was my request message and this is my response. The other thing that I've added is an event monitor. The event monitor is used to monitor different platforms. For example, a GMS system, a MQ, or even a database. What I'm doing here is monitoring the request queue. And what that allows you to do is see if anything has been added to that particular queue. If I go in event viewer and run my test, you can see there's a message on the queue. And the idea here is that if you get an error back from your messaging client, you can at least see if the request has even reached the particular queue. Instead of adding connection settings, each and every GMS test, what you can do is create one connection profile that can be shared among all tests. To do that, I'm going to go to add new global property and choose the global property of GMS connection properties. I've added my GMS connection properties. I can add any authentication if required. So now if I go back to my messaging client, you can see under transport, I have an option to use shared property and that's the one I just created. And that's how you can set up a request test over GMS in SOA test.